Hello, hello, and welcome to this channel on Facebook. I'm coming to you live from the comforts of my home office here in Singapore. It's, the weather's a little dodgy. It's been raining since the early parts of the morning. I'm here to share with you this nifty little tool called Crowdfire. I use Crowdfire for my business and it's such an amazing tool. This is a big plug without any referral links. I'm not getting any kickbacks by doing this. I really do like Crowdfire and it helps me to simplify the process of releasing my content for a week and even up to four weeks. It, when I get into Crowdfire, it forces me to think and plan about the different platforms that I work with where I share my content and the way I want to release this bit, these bits of information. Is, and I'm hoping that this comes through, is really take you through Crowdfire. Now I'm doing this as a series in, term, in, in part for a workshop that I'm running this weekend or what I like to call an immersive program, a bootcamp. You really pick up the reins and run with this. And it's called content creation like a pro to grow your following, to grow your community. In Web 3.0, there is a lot more focus on community, whereas with Web 2.0, the focus has been getting your following, your likes, your shares, your engagement, the comments. It's about producing the content. In web, is your crypto, blockchain, and NFTs, the metaverse. This new field, the way we market, the way we attract our audience, it's totally different. It's not separate to how we use or how we're currently doing things in web 2.0, which is your Facebook ads, online, the internet, your website, your mailing list, it's not very different. It's built on top of that. So they are working in tandem. What we do with Web2 3.0 is we're building a community online and even in the real world. And we are merging them with what we are offering through NFTs and crypto and the like of them, which is the Web3.0. The key thing here is the tools we're using right now are not very different. They're not going to change for a while, for at least the next three years. Tools like Crowdfire, Facebook, um, Meta Business Manager, and other assets that you may have, they won't change. Not till we start living or operating a bit more in that virtual world and where the two worlds actually collide. So before I run into a whole spiel, and this is not the intention of Web 3.0, let me take you through Crowdfire, and I'm hoping this time my screen is popping up. Let's just make sure that that is happening because the last time I recorded this, which was a few weeks ago, it showed a totally other screen. Let me make sure on my trusty little Samsung here that we're doing what I think we're doing. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. isn't showing anything. Huh. All right, I'm going to assume it's all working and tickling along and I will check for comments later. So, I go. The login link is crowdfireapp.com. Once you get started, it can be a little addictive, fair warning. And I'm gonna jump right in and show you what I have got scheduled for this week and I think next week as well. So for me, Monday is the day I set aside for content creation. Now I have World Year Boxing Championships. i have also working with a client who to help her with the coaching business. And now I have, what else do I have? And so I also have mine. And going forward, there will be others that I will pick up. So through this time, for me, time is of essence. So having that time to create the content and make things happen is key. But I can't be focusing every day. I don't work like that. For some people, they do chunks across the week. I get one big chunk done on a Monday. So Crowdfire. This is where you schedule the accounts. Um, you can connect all your accounts and you can see I've even got TikTok there. To be fair, I've not connected my TikTok as yet. I mean, as in I've... 
the scheduler up. Hmm, this is interesting. So this is, and you'll see here published, it gives you a history of all the content that I've published so far, which is one, very odd. I think it's because, there you go. This is something that I've just published on my Instagram. Uh, talking about the differences between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. As you can see, I've set it up to midnight and I don't have to worry about it. Crowdfire just takes care of it. And I've got one more post that's due, I think, on business. That's right. And this is for next week. And it's the same content. I'm not putting it all out on the same, on the different platforms at the same time. I'm testing my content as I go to see what's the resonance? How are people responding to this? So this is the subtle difference that I, I do with these platforms. Now, you may not be in a place where you've got a lot of content, content's coming to you like bam, bam, bam. That's totally okay. You create one video, turn it into a blog post using otter.ai. It will just transcribe whatever's been said. And you can turn that into a blog post. You can turn some of the key messages into slides. And that's how you repurpose that same piece of content. And you've got content for about seven different ways, right? And likewise, you create a video. I start with a video because I find that videos are really punchy. 60 second videos are the best. And Crowdfire and a lot of other platforms like 60 second videos. They tend to show them more and test the content out in using the algorithm, show them to more people. And so in that sense, it would be in your benefit to schedule or to create your content in such a way that it's consumable, readily consumed, readily consumed. So the way I post this content is I click on compose at the top right. With this plus, I choose where I want it to go. And once I've selected that, I can enter the text. I can add a video. You can even drag and drop a video or uh, a, a picture and hashtag. What I do notice that with some platforms, it doesn't like, especially with Instagram, it doesn't necessarily connect with location. Instagram li loves location. So that's one thing to note. And here, so I'm just gonna write some dummy um, test content content. I can decide to post it right now, post it at a custom time or post at the best time. Now, when you're, when you, as you start using more and more of Crowdfire, it will actually give you the stats on how well your content is doing at certain times. When you're starting out, it's great to put out a lot of content and see who's resonating with your message at what time. For instance, if you're targeting, if your group, uh, you sell to mothers, right? Brand mums of new bubs, brand new bubs you know that they are up at certain times breastfeeding. And that's the chance that they'll probably be on their phone. They're probably listening to a video or music of some sort. So this is the time maybe you want to position your content to go to them. Now, I'm not saying that all moms do that. I'm not a mom. I'm just harboring a guest, a guest here. Or they could be doing school drop-offs. And so there are specific times in your region, in your country, where you know moms are doing school drop-offs. And that's how you can create the content so that in such a way it touches or it gets reached, it gets pushed by the algorithm to them at that opportune time when you know they're going to be on their phone. After the school drop off, they're going to dash home, start doing their laundry and all the housework, but they will get a cup of coffee and that's probably the time they will check their phones. This is a great way for you to test and then slowly the system, Crowdfire will tell you, oh, actually, you want to post at this time, this would be the best. Here's what we're recommending. That's what I like about the tool. And because I have a paid version of the tool that allows me to add up to five accounts. The free version adds, allows you to add three, but paid also allows you to upload videos, whereas the freemium does not give you that access, that level of access. So it's up to you totally to decide how you want to do this. I would say if you're starting out, you're just building your community, use the freemium, really get so experienced. In And it's only when you've increased your frequency. Ideally, you want to be in a position where you're posting every day, if not five times a week, not two or three times, not necessarily, but at least once, once a day. And that gives you enough time. Now, if you only have one social media account, 
you don't need crowd file, although you could use it, I suppose, but you don't. But typically the apps will have their own interfaces for you to upload your content. So I'm gonna stop here and take you now to Facebook's or rather what we call these days, uh, Create a Studio, which is Meta's business manager. And now I use Meta's business manager for, actually I should just stop this video now. So I'll come back. This is only about crowdfire. All right, catch you in my next.